Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now today being a Sunday, it has been a very busy day, campaign taking center stage in the country. In fact, we have had three major rallies in this country. William Samai Ruto has had a super massive rally in Kakamega County at Bohongo Stadium. That rally attracted a good number of people. Mother Karua has had a super massive rally in Eldoret Town, Wasingishu County, home ground for William Samuel Ruto. That rally has attracted a super massive crowd. Raila Odinga has had another rally in Ukambani, in Ukambani region, Machakos County, with several stopovers attracting super massive crowds so that is the current situation in the country as we are speaking now three mega rallies two for azimio one for kenya kwanza sijui nani mwenye ana win more and who is losing in this election two versus one ama tuseme one versus two <laughs> anyway i want to concentrate more on Mother Karua, because Mother Karua is a running with Raila Molo Dinga in Asmio La Umoja. Just how Mother Karua has been able to manage to penetrate at William Samuel Ruto's home and manage to have super massive crowd like that. Now, if you look at the rally that Mother Karua has been able to command in Rift Valley, Kule Eldoret kwenye Ruto alikuanga mbunge. You might be confused that Raila Odinga mate, maybe he was attending that same rally. Of course some people were confused eh, when that rally was aired live on Raila Molo Odinga's Facebook account. They thought Raila is there. But Raila as I said he was in Machakos County together with the Kalonzo Musyoka and the entire Wiper team. So Raila was in at river that's Machakos, Masi is still in Machakos, and the Matuta. Matutu, then Masinga. Those are the areas Raila has penetrated through within Ukamban region, just consolidating the ground. But Mother Karua was single-handedly commanding numbers in Rift Valley, while William Ruto was in Kakamega, also attracting numbers. So for me, I'm putting more focus on Mother Karua, because of also one thing that has happened in Eldoret town. I have never heard of William Ruto getting to Kisumu or any area within Nyanza region. Then the people in the rally chanting Raila must go. Raila must go. I have never heard that. I don't think if that is going to happen. And I have never imagined that people in Eldoret, you know when we talk about Eldoret, it's like we are talking about, it's like we are talking about Siaya, where Raila comes from. Or Gatundu Kulekwa, Uhuru Kenyatta, or Mululu Ama Sabata Kwa Mdavad. So when we talk about Eldoret, we are talking about Kwa William Root. I have never thought of the people of Eldoret coming out loudly, to say that Ruto must go. Mother Karua was addressing them. And if you listen to the speech, there are people who are trying to stop Mother Karua in her speech, but they were stopping her by saying Ruto must go. It, it was an interruption that Ruto must go. To an extent, even Mother Karua was not comfortable with that. Because remember, this is William Ruto's home ground. But these people have spoken. Listen to this shortly. Now we are continuing with our panel discussion, but just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you're not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that any other time, once we release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. 
The question we are asking ourselves on this pangolin today, why is Eldoret excited about the entry of Mother Karua into this town? Why were they excited to an extent of being or of getting confused and loudly say that Ruto must go? These people got excited until they felt that Ruto is the wrong person and the right ticket to vote for it is Raila and Mother Karua. And for them, if they are going to vote for that ticket, they are going to vote for Mother Karua in this election. If Ruta has been in Kakamega and they say by having crowd that is votes, Raila has been in eh, Machakos and going by the crowd we say that is votes, then we can comfortably say that because Mother Carol was an endorate, she has had crowd and this crowd has rejected William Ruto, then this should be translated into votes. <laughs> I did not hear the people of Kakamega saying that Raila must go. I have not heard them saying that Raila Tawe. I have not heard them saying Mother Karua Tawe. But in all these three rallies, it is only Wasingishu County, Eldoret Town, that is saying Ruto must go. That tells you one thing, that if Mother Karua will continuously approach the people of Rift Valley properly, you know, when you speak to the people repeatedly, now and again, they believe in what you are saying. There is possibility these people are going to vote for Raila Karua ticket. Eldoret is cosmopolitan. Not all the people are staying there are Kalenjans. We have Luyas. We have Luos. We have a Kikuyu community in Eldoret town. It is cosmopolitan. Because of that, these people are speaking loudly that despite this is William Ruto's stronghold, we still have numbers here for Azmio. And this group has been heard loud and clear. So you see, despite William Samaruto coming from Rift Valley, Eldoret town, and that is his stronghold. He has not been able to convince other communities, other tribes within Rift Valley, Eldoret Town, to vote for him. Then he got to Mount Kenya and said that is his stronghold. He come to Western and they say he has votes in Western. How possible can that be when other communities within Eldoret Town are saying Ruto must The biggest problem that Ruto is facing in this election is the woman card. People are coming loud and clear and ready to embrace women leadership. So it is clear in this election the voice of women is going to be heard. These people were excited just to come and listen to Mother Karua. You can see how women have worked with Mother Karua in Eldoret. People are embracing Mother Karua. So Raila Odinga, in his own wisdom, he decided that, okay, Ruth Valley, because it's a stronghold for William Ruto, let me send there my deputy and see how the ground is going to respond to that. I'm telling you where Raila Odinga is as of now, he is smiling. Raila is a happy man today. Because his running mate has been able to score at William Samuel Ruto's stronghold. And you see, with such move, it is going to place William Ruto on defense position. Because now, Mother Karua come to Rift Valley, instead of defending herself, what she is doing, she is scoring. She has placed her position, herself in a position to score. So Mother Karua is striking in Rift Valley. 
where Naruto will be made, will be forced to go back and have another rally to convince these people in which direction he want them to go. So the wave is tied and it has been tied to the women leadership in this country. So to me, at least Mother Karu has performed better. Because going in an area, just being a running mate, and then you have been able to command such huge number, you mobilize such numbers. This rally, in terms of attendance, is equal to what has happened in, Kakame, in Kakamega at Bukungo Stadium. This rally is equal to what has happened in Machako Scout, in another Azimio rally. But give the Gatha Gashagwe same opportunity to come in Western and have such same number of rally. In fact, this is what William Ruto could, should have done. Because Raila Odinga was sending Mother Karua to William Ruto's stronghold. For Kenyans to believe that Ruto can win this election, then Ruto was supposed to send Gatha Gashagwe to Nyanza region and have such similar rally attracting huge numbers, then we should hear these people saying Raila must go. Or even not saying that, they should just attend and give their ear to the Gatha Gashagwe. That time we will say that in this election, there's no clear winner. Because the response is almost equally. But because Ruto has failed to send the Gatha Gashagwe to Nyanza region, just Kisum or Siaya, to have a rally there. It tells you that in this election, the line has been drawn between the winner and the loser. I know all of you understand who is losing and who is winning. I don't know if Rigatha Gashagwe can be able to get to Nyanza region and I speak to people, then people listen to him. Why? Because Rigade has always tainted the name of Luo community in Kenya. Amekua Kiwatusi. And because of that, that's why Nyanza region will be always hostile to him. Mother Karua is very clear. When she comes, she says, you have your vote. But I have come in my humble way to ask for your vote. To convince you to vote with me. And the people are accepting. I don't know if Rigatha can humble and get to Nyanza region and campaign for William Ruto. Then Ruto gets vote. In as much Raila cannot get even 40% or 50% in Rift Valley. At least they can get 30%. But will Rigatha convince Luos to give even William Ruto 10%? I doubt if that is possible. So to me, today, Raila Odinga in his own wisdom, he has successfully managed to have the best campaign. And the mother Karua has scored very high compared to William Ruto running it. Because if you read Mother Karua, you are going to read Mother Karua at the level of Raila and William Ruto. Not at the, uh, not at the level of Rigadi Gashagwe. In fact, if you are going to read Rigadi Gashagwe, then Mudawadi is more even higher than Rigadi Gashagwe, including Senator Watangula. He can perform more better than Rigadi Gashagwe. That is the current situation, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know your views, but we can meet at the comment section to have a continuation of this conversation. Otherwise, Thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.